uh, told us of her kind approach. Paula Bennett. Thank you. Question number three, the Honourable Judith Collins. Mr Speaker, to the Minister of Housing and Urban Development, does he stand by all his statements in action on Kiwi Build? The Honourable Phil Twyford. I stand by our actions in building modest homes for New Zealanders with our first homes under construction. And I stand by my statements. What assurances can he give new Kiwi Build buyers that if a neighbouring Housing New Zealand tenant undertakes antisocial behaviour, that Housing New Zealand tenant will be evicted? Well, Mr Speaker, uh, people all over this country of different persuasions and colours and tendencies all live together in diverse communities around this country. This government is not going to engage in the kind of vile demonising of state house tenants and stereotyping state house tenants to try and stigmatise people who need the benefit and the security of tenure that only public housing provides. Point of order, point of order, Mr. A Speaker. Point of order, the honourable Speaker. Gentleman. I don't believe that the minister addressed the question to the point of antisocial behaviour. I did not raise issues of ethnicity or diversity. I raised a point about antisocial behaviour. Yes, I, I, uh, I think buried in the rhetoric was an answer. When he discussed with banks about changing their lending criteria to make it easier for property developers and builders, uh, buyers of KiwiBuild to borrow, what was the response of the banks? Uh, we haven't had discussions with banks over um, changing lending practices for KiwiBuild. But we have had a number of very constructive discussions with the financial community about uh, improving lending practices to support off-site manufacturing and, in fact, uh, lending for multi-unit developments, apartment developments. And those discussions are ongoing and constructive. Anahila Kanongataha Suisuiki. Does the housing affordability measure released today affect KiwiBuilt, impact KiwiBuilt? The housing affordability measure out today shows that more and more Kiwi families are locked out of home ownership. The affordability of a first home worsened in Auckland, Wellington, Tauranga, Christchurch and Hamilton. And Wellington was one of the worst, up 4.7%. This is why we need a massive government intervention like KiwiBuild to turn this around and build modern, affordable starter homes for young families. It will take time. Order, order. Further supplementary. Anna Hill. How will Kiwi Build make housing more affordable? Well, Mr. Speaker, through Kiwi Build, we're building modest starter homes for families who are locked out of home ownership across New Zealand. We don't accept that that is a situation that should be allowed to continue. By increasing the number of affordable starter homes, we will provide young families with the first step on the ladder and the security that home ownership brings. That's right. Judith Collins. To the Minister, when he says uh, that the Crown will partner with property developers and, quote, share the risk, end quote, how is the risk shared and what risk is the taxpayer taking on? So a very good illustration of this approach is the um, buying off the plans initiative, which I'm pleased to say has, over the last month, drawn nearly 100 formal submissions from developers who want to partner with the government through KiwiBuild. There is every likelihood that this, this initiative will yield several thousand KiwiBuild homes over the next few years. By buying off the plan or underwriting these homes, we will not only speed up developments that are currently stalled because of a lack of liquidity, but also we will guarantee the supply of affordable housing that the market has so patently failed to deliver. When he told the Social Services Select Committee this morning that he would, quote, happily buy off struggling developers, end quote, does it mean that he will take on the risk of any future issues such as leaky homes or building faults? <laughs> We're not providing a blank cheque to failing developers, but we are incentivising the construction 
of affordable homes that that party absolutely order, refused to do. Order, order. Now the member will answer the question. We're not providing a blank cheque to developers for leaky homes or any other thing. But I will note that Bindi Norwell of the Real Estate Institute of New Zealand this morning welcomed the success of the Buying Off the Plans initiative. She said this is exactly the kind of initiative we need to increase the supply order, of housing. Order. The Minister, how does he propose limiting the Crown's shared risk with property development companies if in the future the property development company either goes broke or is in some other way wound up? Well, that's an entirely hypothetical question, but we will be exercising sound commercial judgment because this government is not prepared to stand by and see the housing market fail young Kiwi families. We're willing to roll up our sleeves to work with the private sector and build houses. It's as simple as that. Question number four, Willow Jean Prime. Thank you. My question is to the 